In order to add a flash video or even to embed one into your website is relatively simple and easy. First thing you want to do is go to manage your website, go to edit pages, select the page where you'd like the video to display, and you have two options. We're gonna I'm gonna show you how to upload a video and uh, insert it, or if you have a code you know, uh, from YouTube or Vimeo or from anywhere else to display the video, you can do that also. So in order to add a video, we're going to go to add page and then select flash video. And then on the left hand side, it says upload video. You want to click on this little button here and it's going to give you this box that's going to allow you to browse through your computer and you want to select the video so in this case I'm going to grab this video here and just click upload file and immediately it uploads pretty much any kind of video format it's really not a video format that it won't bring in so that's a good thing it immediately grabs it it converts it for you it takes a little bit of time to convert. While that converts, I'm going to go and grab a YouTube code. That's just going to might take a minute or two. But if I wanted to embed a YouTube video, I can come and grab a YouTube video. And let's say I want the embed code. And I'm going to grab a small 320 by 265. Copy the code come back to my website and go right into a rich text editor these are the orange boxes that pop up click on the RTE and let's say I wanted to get rid of all this I can click on HTML because it is a code that you're bringing in and I can wipe out all of this if I wanted to or I could leave it in there. I mean, this it, it's up to you. I can move it down and just bring in, paste that code in there, and click update. Immediately, you'll see the box flash. I can uh, select it and let's say I want to center it so it can be in the middle of that space. Hit save and when I hit save. There is the video instantly. Now this is the home page. I'm going to click on preview. Let's see what it looks or what it would look like if it were live. There it is. Click view preview site and perfect. Select play and instantly without a, without a problem. Now, depending on the size, depending on where you want to put it, you have that's flexible. YouTube gives you the dimensions. You can also edit the dimensions in the code and it will work. It doesn't have to be exactly what YouTube says. Um, I'll show you that real quick. So if you wanted to edit the dimensions, you go back into the HTML code. And if you notice here, it shows up object width 320 height 265 so if you wanted to change these you can do so to make it larger or smaller depending on the size area now sometimes in YouTube's code the object width and height shows up twice so you have to look at the code good to make sure that the width and the height don't show up twice because if it does then you have to make the changes on both it would be in the bottom and on the top in this occasion it's only in the top so uh, I'm going to update this but what I want to do now is I'm just going to eliminate this so I just select it if you notice it has a little boxed 
I can just hit backspace and it will delete it. And I can save and save it again and it will be gone. By now I think our video should be ready. I'm going to click add flash video. It's not ready yet. I'm going to control F5, refresh my page. Sometimes when you hit control F5, it refreshes, it refreshes the page and there you go. Now that the video is here, I can actually drag and drop the video also. So if I want to put it in the same place, I can just actually click on the video as I did and drag it right into this section here. And initially it brings in the original dimension. So I know that I want it to be, let's say 320 by 240. So click on 320, click the tab, it automatically changes the dimensions for you and then click apply. Now the video is below this portion here. Okay. And they're in the same page area because if you right click, you go page area you see they're both in that same page area so it's just a matter of moving one on top of the other so let's say i want the video above it i'm going to select move up and it puts the text right below it it's now in a larger position so i'm going to change the properties in order to make the video fit perfect because it's 325 here go back to 320 on the width that's on the advanced click apply now you notice the orange section is the exact same size but now i want to center it so i'm going to go back to properties go back to the advanced tab and I can actually see how this moves here. We're going to deal with the margin. And we're going to deal with the left margin. Put it on manual. And then start, let's say, 20 pixels, 23. Let's say I wanted it closer than that. Let's go 50 in the center. Let's try 40. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, it's pretty much in the center. It, it looks like it's connected here up top. I can also use the margin to push it down a bit like that. It doesn't intercede with that portion there. I go to top margin, manual, and there you go. Let's bring it a little further down, 20. Uh, that makes it perfect. So now it's exactly where we wanted it. We click save. And this is an internal video. So I'll show you how that plays. We're going to click preview. And it's going to fix everything for us code wise in order to view it as if it were live. As you see, it does it relatively quickly. That's within less than a minute, a few seconds, and click on preview. This is the home page. And there's our video. If we click immediately, it will start playing with no problem. So there you go. That's how you had that's how you add a uh, flash video, either embedded or using the internal players. And you have all of the tools to do it it's not hard at all and with i hope this video tutorial help if you need any assistance in walking you through please call customer support remember you have the live chat support and you can call it's unlimited um take advantage of it thank you and stay tuned to the other video tutorials